Hello my favourite humans, welcome back to the second channel. Um, I thought this could be a week in the life of living alone in London vlog because I filmed some stuff ages ago and I don't know what to do with the footage so I'm just going to check that in here at some point in the video so look forward to that. But today is the weekend, it's a Saturday and my Saturdays are wild because I'm basically just, uh, I don't know if you see, I'm editing a video for you guys to see hopefully on Monday if I can edit it in time. Then I'm just gonna, I think it's gonna be quite a cozy vibe because I've got my candle on behind you. That's, that's definitely not safe, but let's go with it. I'm gonna stick a movie on and then I'm gonna do some wrapping. I'm gonna wrap some gifts because tomorrow is where the fun starts. Tomorrow is, um, Seppi's coming around. My friend Seppi's coming around to celebrate her birthday. Um, her birthday's not tomorrow, it's the day after, but um, we're celebrating early. So I'm gonna wrap all her gifts and give her like a little birthday surprise because she's not expecting it. And you know, we all know how much I love doing little birthday surprises. I live and live for it. So um, I'm quite excited to get all that like sorted and set up and stuff. Seppi is Iranian. So I went to an Iranian bakery to get her like cake for her birthday. Actually, I'll show it to you. You know what, this is so typical of me, right? I am the most indecisive person when it comes to choosing food. Like I just, I hate, I, I, I don't know why people ask me anymore because I don't know what they're expecting. I can never decide. Um, I'm just really bad at just picking things. And especially when it's for someone else, that's 10 times harder. So um, I didn't know what flavor of cake to pick. So I basically just picked five different versions. And I think, you know what, honestly, I feel like that's the way to go. Like, I feel like in the future, oh no, I feel like what people should do as like a cake option is, imagine if there was a cake, which on the outside looks like a normal cake, but inside each slice was a different flavor. Like that would be so good. I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet, actually. Anyway. That's just my thought for today, but do you want to see all the cakes I got for her birthday? Okay, I'll show you now. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Now this is the one that Seppi introduced to me, I'm pretty sure. If it's not, then I've done a bad job. And I remember her showing me this and I actually really liked it. So I'm excited for this one because I already know that one's good. I haven't tried the others before. Oh no, I tried this as well and this one's pretty good too. Um, this one, look how nice that looks at the top by the way. But it's coffee flavoured. So I don't know if I'm going to be a fan of this one, but it looks beautiful. Then there's chocolate and I think that's just like a, your regular, you know, Victoria sponge cake with fruit on top. I'm gonna plate it all nicely, hopefully tomorrow with candles and stuff, and it'll be a assortment cake. I bought these candles, <laughs> thinking, oh, they're so cute. And they come with strings attached to them. So how am I supposed to put these on? Oh, this is our cake, by the way. This is a cake. It's a weird assortment one, but Seppi is quite random and eccentric, so I feel like this is a vibe. And we've got a sparkling candle, which we will see how successfully that goes. I'm not gonna try this, but... Oh, hi Seppi! <laughs> it's Seppi's I don't know what this is. I mean, is it this, Sammy? I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. Is it one of the best ones you've had? Mm. <laughs> it's nice. It's just fresh. I am ready because today I'm going to go to this uh, exhibition. Ooh. And they're here. I'm gonna go to a museum exhibition thing that's really big on TikTok. It's gone viral and I'm really excited. It's like a light show and uh, come with me. Also, in other news, um, I've done a little adult purchase. I've gone and bought myself a water flosser. Wow, we making real proper adult moves. I got, oh, you guys are dolder. Look, okay, why are you saying it like that? Oh, good. Baby, I kind of really good. Yeah, I'm making adult purchases. I'm going through a self-improvement stage. 
I'm still in the work in progress stage. My face looks like this. We love that for me. I got eyeliners in, which kind of hit, my teeth kind of hit. And I bought myself a water blosser. What are we doing today, lads? Going to an exhibition. Yeah, <laughs> and it's my favorite kind because it's one of those light, uh, you know, I call it a light museum. It kind of is like a light museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got projection. I still haven't put my magnets up from Paris, but um, this is what I look like. And we're gonna go. And it's a sunny day, but I can't be in the sun because of the skin. So there's a lot of emotions right now. Who's excited? Me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the exhibition. It's 180 Studios Lux. Okay, we are in lads. Ooh, the lighting begins. Ow, ow, my face hurts. My face actually hurts. was really good by the way massive fan and now we're in London City um, oh we're gonna try and get a free viewpoint of London um, it's called the new change hmm? new change something like that um, and it's on the sixth floor and we're gonna go and hopefully get a really good view of London because it's absolutely stunning there so that'll be nice for you this is what is it St Paul's it's not St. Paul. Paul. I'm Paul's the worst. It. Oh, we, we don't know what this building is, but this building is really cool. I just pointed up and been like, St. Paul. <laughs> it's not St. Paul. I think St. Paul it's a nice place. building though. I like it. Currently in Spitterfield Market in the food court area and I am looking great. We went to the Caribbean place. Cafe Caribbean. Cafe Caribbean and it looks good. I'm just finishing off some work. I'm currently editing and doing my clothes and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm kind of sorting out all my errands and work stuff now because today is Valentine's Day. Don't get too excited. Still very much single. Um, but, um, but my friend... Um, zoo that you may know if you watched my videos like years ago back when i was in cardiff uh, my friend from cardiff now lives in london which is really cool it's funny because when we were in cardiff when it was valentine's day we would just naturally end up doing stuff together and she messaged me last night like really late last night saying like oh are you free tomorrow I'm not even realizing it's valentine's day but just wanted to hang out because she's got time off work um and then i was like yeah sure because I'm not doing anything tomorrow, clearly. Um, so yeah, well, she's gonna come and we're gonna have like, she's staying over the night. So we're gonna have a nice little sleepover. Oh, do you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> what are we doing? Cooking. Yeah, we're making bolognese on Valentine's Day. This is my amazing Valentine's Day. And she's so great because she cooks for me. <laughs> I invited her over to cook for me, it's the best. You know what I was saying to Zoo actually? I don't know if you, some people do remember you by the way. Really? From the poetry diary. Oh my god. And you were there for a second and you were like, oh, I'm so nice to see you. Yeah, people remember. Some of you guys might remember Zoo from our Cardiff days. But um, I was saying today how like today feels like we're in Cardiff. Does you know what I mean? It feels like a Cardiff day. Yeah, it feels like we just, is it like... Like we haven't moved to London. We where we are. Yeah. Because, well, the things we're doing is not London-based, are they? It feels like home. Yeah. Today it feels very like, because Zoo's like a bit of home, right? Oh. From Cardiff. So it doesn't Cardiff. feel like I'm in London. We're just like cooking. Well, it's, it's great because she cooks for me. That's how I like it. <laughs> no, I'm joking, joking. Chop, Yeah, I chop I'm and she... Stirring. Yeah, she stirs, I chop. Yeah. Great team. She did a phenomenal job. That is so mean? good. For a homemade bolognese, that's fantastic. Now you try it. Okay. I think that's really good. Good, in it? Mm. Do you know what I mean by like, it's really flavorful. Yeah, it's flavorful. I'm telling her how good her cooking is. I, was, I, don't think, I don't think it needs anything else. No. And like with the spaghetti, do you, that's like a really like, do you get what I mean by it's quite rich? Yeah. It's like thick. That's what it should be. It should be like a proper like Ooh. meaty, so, like it's meaty, but yeah. you can't taste the meat. Yeah, I actually I mean? can't. I'm gonna go. Which is why, which is why I was saying to you, like, oh, that's why I want to check because I know you're fussy with, like, not fussy, but like you're particular about. <laughs> she corrected herself so quick. <laughs> no, it's just like I don't like the meaty taste to it. Yeah. So I always make it spicy, but actually this isn't spicy. and It's really good. Is it okay? Oh. You did a smashing job. Okay. You should come round and cook for me more. Okay, I'll cook for you more often. <laughs> that's fine. I like cooking. I give that ten out of ten. Good. 
Yay! No, my feet do not need to on the internet unless I'm paying, getting paid for it. Okay. It won't make it on the internet. <laughs> Thank you. We've come to Token so, Studio. definitely going to have to come back. So yeah. Come yeah, I know. I can I can book that, actually. Yeah. That's what I'm doing with George. That's literally why I booked him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Then I can make a bowl. Even it'll be wonky, it'll be more. I wonder who this one is. <laughs> I wonder, it's got a giant moon on it. I wonder who did that. <laughs> and I wonder who this one is. Today was a very random plan. Like we didn't really know we were gonna do this. But it's actually been really therapeutic and I'm very happy. But we painted. I just had an image of me dropping. Show yours closer. Oh really? <laughs> Yay, it's the moon and papa. Honestly, great activity. We should do more It therapy. actually is. Yeah. Let's do more therapeutic, so therapeutic activity. It's a great time. just finished editing this vlog and um, it was a really nice vlog to edit um, some of this stuff was filmed a while back so I've just like forgotten about all of it because I have the worst memory ever and it was just really nice I didn't realize how much time I got to spend with friends and stuff like in my head I just assume that I spend all my time by myself um, but actually when I vlog stuff I realized no I did hang out with humans and it was a lovely time. Also, I went to the theatre with Zoo and we watched the show Anne Juliet. Now normally, I, I feel like I'm not a musical person, but the last two times, a lot of my friends are into musicals um, and I watched Hairspray with Moon and I went to see Anne Juliet with Zoo and actually I really like both of them. So um, yeah, if you've not watched that theatre show and you're in London, um, I would highly recommend, it's called Anne Juliet, and it was honestly fab. Had a great time. Um, also, the pottery painting I did at Token Studio, that was really fun and therapeutic too. Um, it's been a really good time. See, that's one of the reasons I like vlogging, because you get to appreciate things a lot more, I feel like. Um, and it's nice to look back on. Like, this was a really nice vlog to edit. So yeah, I had a great time. It brought me a lot of joy. Hopefully it brought you guys joy too. But yeah, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe I'll see you soon. Maybe I won't. We never know on this channel. As always, love you lots. And bye. <laughs>